Hello, today we're excited to announce that using nft-generator.art, you can now deploy your 10,000 NFT collection as a smart minting contract onto a blockchain of your choice. We currently support Ethereum, Polygon, and in the near future, we'll support Solana and other networks. We thought the best way to show off this new feature to you guys is to go through the entire process of generating the art and deploying the NFT minting smart contract in front of you guys in one video. For the demo, I'm gonna be generating these cute little doodle fruit characters, as you see here. I've already put all the layers on their unique artboards to export by doing Control C and then Control F. And then I've already gone ahead and exported them all by doing File, Export, Export As, PNG, name of the file I want, and then Use Artboards to get them all on their unique file and the right dimensions. To access the application, all you have to do is go to nft-generator.art and click get started. As you can see here, I've already created all of the generation pathways and uploaded all of my images into the app already to make this go quicker. But if you need details on how you can use the app, you can check out some of our other videos that I've linked in the description. But I will quickly go over what I have here. If I click preview, you can see that it generates six unique different types of characters all of which are a fruit. So this was the perfect time for me to use tags, which is also discussed in another video, which has allowed me to create six different pathways depending on what character it is. So they get their body, respective of their fruit color. This one's a lemon, they get their heads, they all come together, they get eyes from the same group, they get mouths, they get an item to hold, and then they get their corresponding hand colors based on their tags. I bundle them together before I give them hats with just an empty layer node. And then some of them I'll give hats and some of them will not get hats based on the character. Then I bundle them together and then at the end, they're all generated. Once I'm satisfied with the generation of the NFTs, I can go ahead and generate the collection. But first I'm gonna to wanna to give the project the name, give a description and the number of NFTs I want it to produce. And then if I want to appear in my account so I can deploy it, I wanna make sure to log in with my MetaMask. This will pop up, all I have to do is sign. And then I can click pay and generate. Here on the payment page, I can see the exact percentage of each trait and how often it occurs. And if I want to rebalance this and have it re-roll those chances and percentages, I can go to the bottom and click rebalance. Once I'm satisfied with the number of times each trait shows up, I can go ahead, put in my payment details. I'm gonna use a code. And then you can click pay. It's gonna immediately start uploading your images and do the generation of your NFT on our server. Once my images are done uploading, it's currently being generated and I can go to the download page and see how it's doing. It can take a while, but once it's done, I'll be able to access it in my account and then deploy it. You don't need to stress about keeping the tab open or keeping your computer running as all the generation is done on our server. Once the collection is done generating, I can download it to check out all the images, metadata, and a few extras we've put in there. Next, I can just open the application again and log in to go to my account. In my account, I can see all of the collections that I've generated in the app before. And if I want to mint them, all I have to do is click Mint a Collection and click the collection name. Choose a network or test network if you wanna just test it out. Click continue. Are you sure? Click OK. This four step minting page will open and you can return to it at any point in time. The first step is setting up your collection metadata. This is what's gonna appear on OpenSea and other NFT marketplaces. So I've set up my collection name, a description. I'll put in a collection website. I'll name each NFT. It'll give me a preview of what it looks like. They're gonna be numbered. Then I can set up royalty. So this is every time it resells, 
a royalty is taken from the resale and given to this wallet address. I'm going to put in 5%. And then I'm going to put in my wallet address. I can click next. And then we'll go to step two, which is uploading to a decentralized storage known as IPFS. You can't undo this step, so make sure that you have your collection metadata all set up and it looks great. Then I can click upload. And after a while, it will upload to IPFS. When that is finished, it will automatically move on to step three, where we deploy the smart contract to the network. For the demo, I'm gonna be deploying to Polygon main network. And I'm gonna put in a contract symbol which is like the shorthand name for the collection. I'm going to put in a minting cost as it's on Polygon. It's in Matic. I'm going to make it an affordable to Matic, which is about four US dollars. I can toggle minting immediately, which allows people to mint as soon as I deploy the contract, or I can have it off and toggle it later. I'm going to leave it on. Then you could check out the smart contract source code if you're interested. I need to make sure I'm connected to my MetaMask account. This is the correct one. I'm logged in and click confirm. I agree to the terms and conditions, and then I can deploy my smart contract to Polygon. The MetaMask is gonna open. There's gonna be a fee in Matic or Ethereum, depending what platform you're on. I'm gonna approve this and click confirm. And it is gonna deploy the contract. After a little while, the contract will deploy to the network. You can check how your transaction's going by opening up your MetaMask and tracking it. And if it fails to go through, you can adjust your gas as needed depending how flooded the network is. You'll see a working minting button preview, which can be embedded in your website. You can adjust the number you wanna buy and see how many have already been sold. Here's the code to embed it in your website and you can stylize it however you like. I'm gonna show off this minting button by clicking mint, it's gonna open MetaMask, and I'll successfully be able to mint one of these NFTs. Once that goes through, you can see the number of minted ones have gone up. When an NFT is minted, we do deduct a small fee for using our platform, but this is only once an NFT is sold. And on Polyscan, you can see that I have successfully paid to Matic to mint my NFT. On OpenSea, you can see that the NFT has successfully been minted, as well as the second one that I've also tried out. And this is currently blank. If I want to customize the OpenSea page, all I have to do is log in with the account that I used to deploy the contract and click the edit button here. I can change the logo image, the featured image, the banner image, the name, the URL, the description, add a category, and links. This royalty section will be automatically filled out with the one that you put in our app. We currently are fixing that. Then I can also change the display theme or add a collaborator. And there we have it. We've generated our 10,000 unique artworks. We've deployed it to the blockchain with a mintable smart contract, and we've set up the OpenSea. All that's left to do is plug in the minting button into a website. This is Greg. So after it's deployed, this is the page uh, you should look at. And what we're seeing here at the top section is the actual minting bit button that will uh, put on the website. And at the bottom is the code that you need to copy and paste on your website, which is exactly what we're going to do. So first, I'll show you the website uh, we're working on for the Doodle Fruits. It's going to be very simple. So let's get started. So first, I'm just going to copy this first section with the scripts. I'm going to copy, go to my code editor and paste and save. That's all. I'm going to go back to the page and copy the second section. I'm going to copy this and switch back. I'm going to scroll down to the right section and paste. So here's the source code and the button. Now, when I go back to my website, we have the same buttons that we saw on the previous page. I'm on the wrong network, so I have the ability to change network. 
try to dead and everything refreshes. You can change the number of NFT you want to mint and so on. So now I'm actually going to style the buttons so they match the buttons on the website. So I already did the styling, so I'm just going to uncomment my code because it's really specific to our website. Uncomment, press save, go back, and now I have buttons that matches the styles of my website. It was that simple. It took a minute, uh, maybe less. So what's important here is that um, I am working in a React project right now, but the code is not specific to React. It works in with any framework. So it can be React, it can be Vue, Angular, it doesn't matter. It can be uh, just static HTML, it works. It can be uh, website builders as well, like uh, Wix, Squarespace, Squarespace website, website like that. As long as you have access to the source code and you can embed stuff on the page, it will work. One of the last things you're gonna to wanna to know how to do is airdrop NFTs from your contract or withdraw your earnings from your contract. So if you go to your mints in your account, you can click right here on the contract. As I've deployed on Polygon, it'll open up Polyscan. I can click contract, click right contract. When I'm logged into the correct address, I can airdrop to a specific address or at the bottom, I can withdraw an amount of Matic. In the coming weeks, we plan to add and adjust many new features including approved pre-sale accounts, Mint Now Reveal Later NFTs, and on-site minting pages. If you want to get a better look at our Doodle Fruits project, you can check it out at nft-generator.art slash demo. I've linked it in the description. We'll also be giving a few of these out for free via airdrop to some of the members in our Discord community, so make sure to join in the link in the description as well. That's all for now. For more updates, you can check out our Twitter, Discord, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Happy creating!